How do I obtain a travel permit for restricted areas? Obtaining a travel permit for restricted areas, the USA visa process, and immigration guidance can be a complex process, but I can provide you with a general overview. However, please note that specific requirements may vary depending on your nationality and circumstances. It is always recommended to consult official government websites or seek advice from immigration lawyers for up-to-date and accurate information. Research restricted areas, start by identifying the specific restricted areas you plan to visit within the USA. Determine if they require special permits or clearances. Restricted areas can include military bases, national parks, or other sensitive locations. Identify visa type, determine the appropriate visa category based on your purpose of travel to the USA. Some common visa categories include B1 B2 tourist visa, F1 student visa, H1B work visa, and immigrant visas such as family-based or employment-based visas. Gather required documents, each visa category has specific documentation requirements. Generally, you will need a valid passport, completed visa application form, passport-sized photographs, proof of travel intent, financial evidence, and any additional documents specific to your visa category, e. Employment offer letter, university acceptance letter, etc. Complete visa application, visit the official website of the U. Department of State to access the visa application form, DS-160. Fill it out accurately and honestly, providing all required information. 5. Pay application fee. Pay the non-refundable visa application fee, which varies depending on the visa category. The fee can usually be paid online or at designated payment centers. Schedule visa interview. After submitting the DS-160 form and paying the fee, schedule a visa interview at the nearest you. Embassy or consulate. Interview wait times can vary, so it's advisable to plan ahead. Attend visa interview. On the interview day, bring all necessary documents and arrive early. Be prepared to answer questions about your travel plans, background, and financial situation. The consular officer will determine whether you qualify for the visa. Undergo security clearance. For certain visa categories or if you plan to visit restricted areas, additional security clearances may be required. This process can take time, so be prepared for potential delays. Receive visa approval. If your visa application is approved, your passport will be returned to you with the visa affixed. If denied, the consular officer will provide you with the reason for the denial. Immigration process. Upon arrival in the USA, you will go through immigration procedures at the port of entry. Present your passport, visa, and any supporting documents to the immigration officer, who will determine your admissibility. Remember, this is just a general overview, and the process may vary depending on your circumstances. It's essential to consult official government websites, such as the U. Department of State or U. Citizenship and Immigration Services, for the most accurate and up-to-date information. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.